Hello everyone my dear friends welcome to my Golden Screen Evolution YouTube channel. In this video, we take a journey through the groundbreaking sitcom All in the Family, which premiered in 1971. Join us as we revisit iconic characters, relive unforgettable moments and discover the lasting impact of All in the Family. Sit back and enjoy the video. Born in Oregon in 1947, Sally Struthers played the character Gloria Stivic in the television series All in the Family. Gloria was the daughter of Archie and Edith Bunker, portrayed by Carol O'Connor and Jean Stapleton respectively. Gloria Stivic was a central character on the show and her relationship with her husband. Michael Stivic provided a platform for exploring generational and societal differences. Sally Struthers' portrayal of Gloria earned her critical acclaim, and she won two Emmy Awards for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Comedy Series during the early seasons of All in the Family. After all in the Family, Sally Struthers continued her acting career, making appearances in television, film, and stage productions. She also became known for her humanitarian work, particularly as a spokesperson for child sponsorship programs. Sally Struthers is now 76 years old. Born in New York in 1924, Carol O'Connor played the iconic role of Archie Bunker in the television series All in the Family. Archie Bunker was the main character and head of the Bunker family. Archie was portrayed as a blue-collar worker with conservative views, often expressing prejudiced and bigoted opinions. The character served as a satirical commentary on the social and political climate of the time. Despite Archie's flaws, the show provided depth to his character, exploring his relationships with his wife Edith and daughter Gloria as well as his interactions with his son-in-law Michael Stivic. Carol O'Connor's portrayal of Archie Bunker earned him critical acclaim and multiple awards, including several Emmy Awards for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Comedy Series. The character became an iconic figure in television history, and O'Connor's performance contributed significantly to the success and impact of All in the Family. After the series, O'Connor continued his acting career in various projects, including the Archie Bunker's Place spin-off and other television shows and films. Carol O'Connor passed away on June 21, 2001. Born in New York in 1923, Jean Stapleton played the character Edith Bunker in the television series All in the Family. Edith Bunker was portrayed as a sweet, kind-hearted, and somewhat naive woman who often found herself in comical situations. Her character provided a contrast to Archie Bunker's often bigoted and conservative views. Stapleton's performance as Edith earned her critical acclaim and several award nominations. The character became iconic and Stapleton's portrayal contributed significantly to the success and cultural impact of All in the Family. Jean Stapleton had a diverse and successful career that spanned several decades, showcasing her talent across different mediums. She continued to be recognized and celebrated for her contributions to the entertainment industry until her passing in 2013. Born in the Bronx in 1947, Rob Reiner played the character Michael Stivic, also known as Meathead in the television series All in the Family. Michael Stivic was a liberal and progressive character, often clashing with his father-in-law Archie Bunker who held more conservative and bigoted views. The interactions and debates between Archie and Michael provided much of the comedic and dramatic tension in the series. The character of Michael along with his wife Gloria represented the younger, more socially aware generation challenging the traditional values and attitudes of Archie's generation. Rob Reiner's portrayal of Michael Stivic earned him acclaim and recognition. He, along with Sally Struthers, won Emmy Awards for their performances in the early seasons of All in the Family. After his time on the show, Rob Reiner went on to have a successful career as a director, with films such as This Is Spinal Tap, Stand By Me, and The Princess Bride, among his notable works. Rob Reiner is now 76 years old. Born in Brooklyn in 1969, Danielle Brissaboyce played the character Stephanie Mills in the later seasons of the TV series All in the Family. Stephanie was the daughter of Edith Bunker's cousin, Floyd Mills, and came to live with the Bunkers after her father's death. The character of Stephanie brought a new dynamic to the Bunker household. She was a young and assertive girl, and her presence led to various comedic and dramatic situations. Danielle Brissaboyce portrayed Stephanie with charm and skill, adding a fresh element to the series in its later years. After her time on All in the Family, Danielle Brissaboyce continued her career in the entertainment industry. She transitioned from acting to a career in music, where she became a successful songwriter and musician. Brissaboyce later contributed to hit songs for various artists and even received Grammy nominations for her songwriting work. Danielle Brissaboyce is now 54 years old. 
Isabel Sanford played Louise Wheezy Jefferson in All in the Family. She is a recurring character and was introduced as the wife of the Bunker's neighbor George Jefferson. The Jeffersons were the Bunker's first African-American neighbors, and their interactions provided a platform for exploring issues of race and prejudice in the context of the sitcom. Due to the popularity of the characters and the chemistry between the actors, the producers decided to create a spin-off series called The Jeffersons, which premiered in 1975. In The Jeffersons, Wheezy and George move to the Upper East Side. After George's dry cleaning business becomes a success, she goes to Manhattan. The show became a significant success and ran for 11 seasons. Isabel Sanford's portrayal of Wheezy Jefferson received widespread acclaim and she became the first African-American woman to win the Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Comedy Series in 1981 for her role in The Jeffersons. Isabel Sanford, who was born in New York in 1917, unfortunately passed away on July 9, 2004.